even though you you spent the last what 15 20 years of your life working on ai safety and it's suddenly among us in a in a way that i don't think anyone could have predicted five years ago when i say among us i really mean that the amount of funding and talent that is now focused on reaching super intelligence faster has made it feel more inevitable and more soon we as humans have this built-in bias about not thinking about really bad outcomes and things we cannot prevent so all of us are dying one of the you co-authored this paper um, analyzing the key arguments people make against the importance of AI safety. There's other things that are of bigger importance right now. It might be world wars, it could be nuclear containment, it could be other things. There's other things that the governments and podcasters like me should be talking about that are more important. So superintelligence is a meta solution. If we get superintelligence right, it will help us with climate change, it will help us with wars, it can solve all the other existential risks. If we don't get it right, it uh, dominates. If climate change will take a hundred years to boil us alive and superintelligence kills everyone in five, I don't have to worry about climate change. You think so, more people should be protesting? Do you think that's an effective solution? If you can get it to a large enough scale to where majority of population is participating, it would be impactful. I don't know if they can scale from current numbers to that, but uh, I support everyone trying everything peacefully and legally. It's a good advice no matter what. If you have three years left or 30 years left, you lived your best life. So try to not do things you hate for too long. Do interesting things, do impactful things. If you can do all that while helping people do that, 